All right, guys. So what we're doing for our upper bound group is we have the elephant canvas that we're gonna paint, okay? Um, we, you should have red, black, gray, and a white. You should have two of the sponge brushes here, and you should have a regular paintbrush. Each kit also comes with a disposable apron. I do advise you to go ahead and put that on. I will tell you that the paint does not come out of your clothing. It will come off of your skin, your nails, your hair, glasses, things like that, but it will not come out of your clothing, okay? Um, also, your gray may not be fully mixed together, so you may have to take the tip right here of your paintbrush and just kind of stir it up a little bit more um, and then wipe your tip off. You will need a cup of water and paper towel or an old rag to wipe your paintbrush whenever we need to do that. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that my gray is fully mixed here. So I'm just gonna stir that around really good. Um, it is wet my hard part of my brush. All right, I'm gonna use my sponge right here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paint my elephant in the gray. Okay. And you will end up painting over some of your lines. That's okay. We'll be able to put those back in later. Totally okay. I'm just going to paint right over that line there. I'm not going to paint inside my eye. I'm going to paint around that. Here. There's a good little reach. here in the gray. Again, I'm not painting the inside of my eye. I hope that um, you guys have all been able to find the tutorials for these on the YouTube channel that I created. If not, look under on YouTube, look under on um, Cherry's Paint Pad with a C, paint, and the letter N, and then pad. And you should be able to pull up the tutorials for these. I will tell you, it does take me some time to get it on there because even when I use Wi-Fi, it's taken me six plus hours to download one video. Okay. All right, I also want to make sure that I get my sides and my sides should match my front face color. So for instance, here on the bottom part right here, I'm gonna do my side from this point back. Okay, I'm gonna do this entire side here. And that's just because you want it to look uniformed all the way around. I will get my entire top section here. And on this side, I'm gonna get from this point up. From here, up. All right, so I have my gray right there. All right, so I'm gonna kinda of just set this sponge to the side. I'm not gonna need that for a little bit. The next thing I'm gonna do is this portion of the background is going to be red. I'm not gonna do the tusk right here. All right. 
right, so I'm just gonna take my canvas and I'm just gonna kind of set it on the lip of my easel. If you don't have an easel, that's fine. I'm gonna outline my tusk here. Come here. And for you Alabama fans, yes, I am an Alabama fan. I also know that red is not Alabama's color. It is crimson. But we will be adding black to this in a bit, which is going to darken it up. So for my true Alabama fans, fret not. If you happen to get red into the gray a little bit, don't worry about that. Just continue to brush it out. We'll be able to hide all of those little imperfections when we do our accents. And you can see that I am actually pulling some gray whenever I do my red here. That is totally fine. I'm just going to keep brushing that out. Okay. Once I have that part done, I do want to get my edging. So I'm going to go ahead and get my edging on the bottle. Also, if I am going too fast for you, you should be able to pause the video, stop it, work at your own pace, and start it back up or revisit it, okay? So I'm gonna set this back on my easel, okay? So I actually wanna do this part while my red is still wet. Okay, and we do need to be careful when we do this because if you put too much black in this, it's not going to look very well at all. In fact, I think I want to get some um, paper towel just so that I can be extra careful, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the sponge that I just used with my red and I'm going to get some red on there and I'm going to dip just a touch of black on my sponge as well. So as you can see, my sponge right there. I'm going to come to my paper towel and I'm just going to kind of work that going back and forth and I'm going to come here and you see I'm just roughly putting that in there. I don't want there to be any real rhyme or reason to it. I want it to be really rough. Okay, again, a little bit of black, red. I'm going to come to my paper towel and I want my red here to be wet. That way, it blends, and so you're able to work it in better. I'm just going back and forth real quickly with it. All right, again, I'm gonna get some red on my sponge, get some black on there, come to my paper towel. I'm gonna take that back and forth. And you just do that until you are happy with the outcome of your background. Try to stay out of the tusk with it. And I'm just, like I said, I'm just doing it really roughly. You're going to have some areas that are darker than others. That's exactly what you want. It's 
perfect to me. I love the way that looks. I don't want it any darker. That is perfect for me. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this sponge and I'm going to kind of set it to the side. Um, I'm going to go ahead on my tusk right here. I'm going to go to my paintbrush and I'm going to paint that white. And even though your canvas is white, your white paint is a different color than your white canvas. Plus, I want that to be wet when we get ready to sh do some shading in. That way it blends better. Be careful though around your red because your red is still really wet. And if you get that white into that red, then it's gonna turn pink. If you're concerned about that and you don't think that you're gonna be able to keep that white out of that red, use a hair dryer and dry it before you start this process. Okay. All right. So now that I have that painted white, I'm going to get some gray. I'm not even washing my brush. I'm going to get a little bit of gray on my brush. See that right there? All right, then I'm going to come to my paper towel that I have here, and I'm going to take that and I'm going to go back and forth, up and down, up and down. And then I'm going to come into my gray. Oh, no, I took too much off. I'm going to come into my white, and I'm going to brush some of that gray in there just to rough it up just a little bit. And I think I'm gonna put some, and this is just my personal preference. You don't have to do this. I'm just gonna come in and I'm gonna put some extra, straight up gray in that. And like I said, I wanted it to be wet still when I did this because I wanted it to blend in. All right, so I have I'm happy with my tusk, all right? I'm not even gonna wash my brush. There's no need of me washing my brush right now. At this point, we have actually, yeah, I am gonna wash my brush, I'm sorry. Cause I do need to go ahead and do his eye just because I need that to dry a little bit before I go about doing the next step, okay? All right, so in the eye, I'm gonna paint black. I'm going to go ahead let's paint this part black with my brush. Perfect. Alright, awesome. So now I'm going to wash that out. Alright. So the next step we're going to do is we actually have several shades of gray that we're going to be working with. So we're going to be adding in some black, some of the grays, some of the white. I'm going to leave it up to you as far as the shades that you individually want to use. Let me move this a little bit closer because I do want you guys to be able to see this. The first thing I want to do is I want to do a dark shade of gray to separate his ear from his eye. And it's gonna kind of come from this day angle. I'm gonna come down right about here. I'm gonna pull from the eye right here. And then I'm gonna come in to this part of the husk, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some black on my brush. I'm gonna get a little bit of gray on there. And I'm just gonna dab this on a plate until I get like a dark gray. All right, and I'm gonna come here, like I said, this is my eye right here, this is the corner of my eye, and I'm gonna work that right there. Then, this is going to come here. Just like so, with that darker gray. Also, with that darker gray, I'm gonna take it from here, and I'm gonna loop it just under right there, okay? I don't know if you guys can see that. There we go. All right. Oh, oh, there we go. 
didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Okay. Anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to work with that darker gray for a little bit, okay? So I'm going to get me some more black on my brush. I'm going to get pull in some more of that gray and I'm going to keep working that in until I get some dark gray. With my brush flat, I'm going to start from this corner and I'm just roughly going back and forth. Just go back and forth with this right here. All you're doing is, is just adding in some accents here. And we're shading this in. Make sure you're curving downwards when we're doing this. Make sure you are curving it downwards. I'm going to do that going all the way up there. I'm bring this down here. If you happen to grab some of that red like I did, just work it out. There we go. And we're just making it really, really rough, but we want to add in some of those darker accents right there. Okay? Now we're not going to, well, yeah, we can go ahead and do that. I'm going to go get some more black on my brush, and I'm going to pull some more gray because I still need some dark gray. And I'm going to come over here. Now this side, this was an ear, but this side over here, this is his trunk, okay? So right here, Instead of going like this but in a curved motion, I'm going to go back and forth like this on his trunk. So right here, I'm just kind of going back and forth. This is his trunk area. And I did pull some of that red, so I'm just going to work that out right there. I'm going to come up here, top part of his head, right there, my accent right above his head right there. Another area that I want us to really accent with that darker gray is right along this eye right here. I really want him to have that darker eyebrow right there. And then I want to come down here and I just want to kind of bring that and curve it from that eyebrow, okay? And then I'm gonna kinda do like a V right there on his eye. All right, so now at this point I need a lighter gray. So what I'm, I'm not washing my brush out, there's really no need, I'm still working with gray, so I'm not gonna do that. But what I am gonna do is, is I'm gonna get me a good healthy helping of white on my brush. I'm gonna pull in some of that gray paint that I already have the lighter gray and I'm gonna kind of come in here and I'm just gonna put some of this lighter gray coming back and forth and again I grab some of that red paint so I'm gonna work that out and it's a subtle change whenever you do this you can see very little it's just basically highlighting areas of his ear. Okay, I need to make me some more of that. So I'm going to kind of come up in here. Okay. I'm going to just do some quick lines here. And again, guys, this video can be paused and replayed, okay? So you have the ability to do this at your own pace. That's where I had some red. Okay. So I've got that lighter gray worked in there. I don't know if you guys can really see it with the lighting in here. I'm gonna try to bring it up there to you. You can kind of see it right there where we have the lighter gray mixed in, okay? 
So I get some more white on my brush and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to pull in some of this lighter gray and I'm going to mix me up an even lighter. And I'm going to kind of come here and in between these right here, I'm going to go back and forth just like I did with the darker gray. Back and forth. bring some down here. Kind of curve that around and come up. And I'm going to take it over here. All right. So again, I'm going to bring this over here to you so you can see my lighter gray in my chunk. There we go, very good. All right, so the next step I wanna do is I really want to accent with some black into my elephant. So I am gonna wash my brush out with my cup of water, use my rag just to kind of pinch the excess water off of my brush. Here, okay. All right, I'm gonna to come to my black and I'm just going to kind of come here and I want to just accent these little areas real quickly, real quick motions. The eyebrow, again, really quick motions here. You want it, you want the imperfection of it. Okay. I'm going to kind of come in here and I'm just going to now, if you don't want to do this part of it, you certainly don't have to do this part. I just personally feel like the black really brings it out. In fact, I don't believe the picture even had the black. But this is where you have the opportunity, you know, to make it your own. And I'm going to come into my trunk area here. I'm just going to kind of randomly put in some darker lines there. I'm going to come into my husk. I mean my tuft. Not my husk. All right, I'm going to rough that up a little and I'm just going to kind of add a little bit in there but that's again this is my preference. This is my elephants. This is my preference. I also want to just really outline the initial elephant itself. Just simply because, like I said, I feel like it just really adds something to it. All right, so then I'm gonna wash my brush out. So now that we have our elephant painted, we have our background painted, it looks really, really good. I'm proud of it. Let's go ahead and we're gonna work on our eyes. All right, so I really want a dark gray to go into the eye itself. So I'm gonna get some black on my brush. I'm gonna pull some of this lighter gray in. I just want it to be a shade off, really from the black itself. I'm gonna come here and I am going to do a U shape right there in that eye. I'm gonna do a U shape, right there. Okay, I'm gonna wash my brush out from that. All right, now that I've done that, I've got to give him a little white dot in the center part of the eye. So I'm gonna use this tip of my brush, okay? And I'm going to dip it into my white paint. And I'm gonna come right over here at the center and I'm just gonna set that down and pick up. So I have my little white dot for the pupil of the eye, okay? All right, so that's pretty much our elephant. Now, 
like I said, this is yours. You make it yours. Paint it any way you want to paint it. Um, put your personality into it. You can add in more shadings. Um, it's completely up to you. You can do less lines going in the trunk. If that was too much for you right there, the shading that I have done, rough, roughing up the um, tusk, you can always add in some white on top of that just to tone it down a little bit. Um, it's completely up to you. This is yours, but I hope that you have enjoyed painting it and uh, post some pictures. Let me see what you got, okay? Thank you.